says homos phobia inspired by Hannah Gadsby, dedicated to Jamel Miles. Sometimes people get homophobia confused with homos phobia. You see, homos phobia is what we deal with every time we go in public. The fear of violence for holding my partner's hand, the risk of becoming a target for showing my pride, the anxiety that my love story will not be told if it does not include a woman. Though the only irrational part of homo's phobia is how badly we want to be normalized, so I guess I understand why people get the two confused because normalization drives homophobia as well. And I'm not talking about what we deal with in the streets, but rather that internalized homophobia that comes from ourselves, from all the times that we've been told that we are not normal. From all the times we got on our knees praying for God to make us normal, leading to the reality that hating ourselves is what has become normal. And I'm so fucking sick of this idea of normal when your society doesn't know what it is anyway. Like our society is the only one filled with masks as if y'all don't hide behind yours every day. Because really we are all stuck in a closet silently sitting with each of our demons. So why should I care so much about this salvation that you speak of? Because even if I were straight, you still wouldn't like it if I speak up about the depression and anxiety that millions of people deal with because society would rather sweep reality under the rug instead of deal with any social stigma. So you just keep thinking about that white picket fence that they told you to dream of. Because y'all just want to pretend that dreaming makes it better. Like hope alone is going to carry us through. Like suddenly I'm going to flip to a happy ending so y'all can get away without working to improve as if it's my job to make you feel better about the harm that you've caused. But to that, I refuse. The only way you're going to realize that this is not normal is if I put all of this tension on you. And to relieve the tension, we got to start speaking the truth instead of hiding behind bullshit stories. Because we got to start doing something for the youth so that they will not be restricted by our insecurities. Because my story is your story, but the thought that it will also be theirs is exactly what worries me. So we got to start making our internalized issues external. Because I see these suicide rates rising and I know what it's like to struggle with those thoughts. And I do not want my struggles to be their normal because fighting homophobia has taught me that the way we treat mental health is not normal. And if we keep hiding in our closets, then we will never see each other as normal. So I guess I should start with leading by example. My name is Jordan and I suffer from depression and anxiety and I invite all of you to share your story so that we can start being honest about what is normal. Give it up for the changeling. Yeah, yeah.